right, it's Dee Jackson with a local painter who's gaining an impressive following from a few guys you wouldn't expect. My first layer. With every stroke of the paintbrush, another masterpiece is off and running. Welcome to the soon-to-be world-famous AO Art 5 studio, where designer and painter Anthony Oropesa turns out larger-than-life images of some of sport's biggest superheroes. But it's his love for the hometown legends that drive him to create what he calls passion pieces. They're, they're created to go into my house, to be mine. And if um, a buyer or somebody wants to purchase it, then, then we'll, we'll talk about that. Some I don't let go, some I, I do. And some of the artwork he's let go has wound up in the homes of some pretty impressive athletes. No formal advertising, just the power of social media. I push it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and when it came to the uh, Jordano, I sent a tweet out, and I believe uh, Stephen St. Jan uh, John retweeted it, and Hosmer and Dyson saw it, and next thing you know, we're, we're messaging over Twitter, which, is, which floored me. And I also have a piece, uh, a Duffy print, in Duffy's house. So those, I mean, just having, having some of my work for the home team is, is phenomenal. Talk about a boost of confidence. Some of his favorite players are lining up to get his signature. Remarkable considering this single dad who goes to work every day as a web development coordinator and graphic designer at one point found himself boggled down with the day-to-day -day of life and put his love of painting aside and found inspiration from the Royals who encouraged him to get back in the game. I was watching these guys play, the Royals play, and they just didn't quit. There was something about them that inspired me. And so I would paint periodically in my... Uh, in my house, in my apartment, and it was just something would just say, look, you, you gotta give it another shot. But it wasn't just the boys in blue. Perhaps the most important piece of artwork in AO's studio is this framed letter dating back to May of 1992. His rejection letter after applying to art school. It hit me in the gut, it was a gut check, and so I just kept it and said, one day I hope to prove whoever signed this that they didn't see the potential, and well, it, it took a few years to prove it, but I'm, I'm starting to show and prove it now. And now when Anthony Oropesa presents his finished pieces, he gets a kick out of seeing the joy he brings to others by sharing his incredible talent. That's what makes it worth it, because you know there's somebody out there who's like, when they say, wow, that makes all of that stuff worth it. It's really cool. D. Jackson, 41, Action News. What a find, D. What a story. So visual, so awesome right there. Great, great stuff. Come on with the sound up for the second time in four seasons.